Hey GPT, when was your last data update? And are you familiar with the essay titled Situational Awareness by Leopold Aschenbrenner? I was last updated with new information in April 2023. As for the essay by Leopold Auer Schoenberger on situational awareness, I'm not directly familiar with it, but I can still try to help with any questions you might have about situational awareness in general. What sparked your interest in this essay? Okay, great. I'm going to read some excerpts from the essay focusing on the foreword of the essay, and I want you just to react to them and tell me what you think about it, okay? Sure thing. Go ahead and read the excerpts, and I'll share my thoughts and reactions. You can see the future first in San Francisco. That's an intriguing statement. It makes me think about how San Francisco, with its strong tech culture and innovative atmosphere, is often seen as a place where new trends and technologies emerge. It sounds like the essay might explore how situational awareness can give people a glimpse into future possibilities, especially in a place that's always pushing boundaries. What do you think about that interpretation? Over the past year, the talk of the town has shifted from $10 billion compute clusters to $100 billion clusters to trillion dollar clusters. Every six months, an another zero is added to the boardroom plans. Behind the scenes, there is a fierce scramble to secure every power contract still available for the rest of the decade, every voltage transformer that can possibly be procured. American big business is gearing up to pour trillions of dollars into a large unseen mobilization of American industrial might. By the end of the decade, American electricity production will have grown tens of percent from the shale fields of Pennsylvania to the solar farms of Nevada. Hundreds of millions of GPUs will hum. This excerpt paints a vivid picture of the rapid growth and scale of technological and industrial expansion, especially in computing power and energy production. It's fascinating to think about how these developments could shape the future not just in San Francisco, but across the U.S., and how situational awareness, understanding these trends and their implications, could be crucial for anyone involved. What's your thought on this vision of the future? Does it align with what you've been seeing or experiencing? The AGI race has begun. We are building machines that can think and reason. By 2025 or 26, these machines will outpace many college graduates. By the end of the decade, they will be smarter than you or I. We will have super intelligence in the true sense of the word. Along the way, national security forces not seen in half a century will be unleashed, and before long, the project will be on. If we're lucky, we will be in an all-out race with the CCP. If we're unleashed, lucky and all out war. That's a bold and somewhat unsettling projection of the future. The notion of artificial general intelligence, AGI, surpassing human capabilities and provoking geopolitical tension underscores how critical it is to understand and anticipate the broader implications of technological advancements. It's a powerful reminder of how quickly things can change and why being prepared and informed is so vital. How do you feel about the potential scenarios described here? Does it align with your views on the future of AI and its global impact? Do you agree with the vision that is painted here? Are there holes in it? What are your thoughts in terms of the accuracy? The vision sketched here is certainly dramatic and thought-provoking, capturing the accelerating pace of technological progress and its potential consequences. While it's plausible that AI will continue to advance rapidly and influence global power dynamics, Predicting specific timelines and outcomes is tricky. Forecasts about achieving superintelligence or the geopolitical consequences of AI advancement often involve a lot of speculation. I think the essay raises important points about the need for situational awareness regarding technological trends and their broader impacts. However, it's also essential to maintain a balanced perspective and consider a range of possible outcomes, as the future is inherently unpredictable. What do you think about the essay's perspective? Say. Here's another excerpt. Everyone is now talking about AI, but few have the faintest glimmer of what is about to hit them. NVIDIA analysts still think 2024 might be close to the peak. Mainstream pundits are stuck on the willful blindness of it's just predicting the next word. They see only hype and business as usual. At most certain, at most rather, they entertain another internet scale technological change. 
the excerpt seems to underscore the idea that while AI is becoming a major topic of conversation, many people might not fully grasp the transformative potential it holds. The reference to predicting the next word seems to downplay the broader capabilities and implications of AI advancements. It suggests a gap between the current public discourse and the potentially profound shifts AI could bring about. It's a call to pay closer attention to the broader, long-term implications of rapid technological change. What do you make of this take on the public's perception of AI? So beyond predicting the next word, what sort of capabilities are people not seeing that might come forth with the advancement of artificial intelligence? Beyond predicting text, AI's capabilities could extend into areas like real-time language translation, advanced medical diagnostics, autonomous vehicles, personalized education, scientific research assistance, and even creative pursuits like art and music composition. AI could also revolutionize industries by optimizing supply chains, improving energy efficiency, and enhancing cybersecurity. What are your thoughts on these potential applications? Before long, um, I'm reading another excerpt, by the way. Before long, the world will wake up, but right now there are perhaps a few hundred people, most of them in San Francisco and the AI labs, that have situational awareness. Through whatever peculiar forces of fate, I have found myself amongst them. A few years ago, these people were derided as crazy, but they were trusted, but they trusted the trend lines, which allowed them to correctly predict the AI advances over the past few years. Whether these people are also right about the next few years remains to be seen. But these people are very smart, some of the smartest people I have ever met, and they are the ones building this technology. Perhaps they will be an odd footnote in history, or perhaps they will go down in history like Slizard or Oppenheimer and Teller. If they are seeing the future even close to correctly, we are in for a wild ride. This excerpt highlights the role of foresight and vision in technological advancement, emphasizing how a small group of people with situational awareness can have a significant impact on the future. Comparing these figures to historical figures like Szilard, Oppenheimer, and Teller suggests the potential for profound influence, whether positive or controversial. The mention of being in for a wild ride captures the uncertainty and excitement surrounding AI's future. How do you feel about the comparison to these historical figures and the notion of situational awareness in this context? Okay, GPT, give me your final thoughts on the forward of the essay. How do you feel about the relationship it's drawing between energy demands, geopolitical dynamics, and trends in development in artificial intelligence? The forward paints a vivid picture of the interconnected nature of technological development, energy demands, and geopolitical shifts. It captures the escalating scale and pace of AI advancements and the significant impact they could have on industries, economies, and global power structures. The forward also emphasizes the importance of situational awareness in navigating this evolving landscape, highlighting the potential for both groundbreaking progress and serious risks. Overall, it stresses the need for vigilance and adaptability as we move further into this new era of AI-driven change. All right. Thanks, everyone. Hope that was a fun one. Catch you later. Give me a subscription and a comment below. Appreciate you. Bye. Take care.